All right, so it's the first time in a very long while where we're actually making a video that is not a post-game Canadians review of some form or another. As a result, I'm going to go out there and thank those who commented in the previous kind of comment section keyword thing that we did, which was two weeks ago, what their predictions were for Montreal-Toronto. Oh man, you can see some of these on the screen right here. We had a lot of Leafs in seven, Canadians in seven, so that's kind of right. Leafs in six, Leafs in five, whatever. I personally said Leafs in five. Very wrong about that. But thank you to those in the previous Canadians video who commented that comment section keyword. If you want a chance to be featured next time we do a normal video that isn't a post-game review, then hey, stick around to the end of this video. We'll probably have a whole bunch of discussion as the days go on. So... It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? This is our topic that I think so many Canadians fans are kind of just itching at the seams to talking about. Because the Montreal Canadiens are now guaranteed a spot in the Final Four. So far, there are two teams that are confirmed in the Final Four. It is Montreal and it is Tampa Bay. The Montreal Canadiens are going to go out there and play the winner of the West Division Finals, which are currently being led by the Vegas Golden Knights as they have a 3-2 lead over the Colorado Avalanche. Now, it's a really big conversation to go up about with the Montreal Canadiens and who you would prefer to face, because when it comes to the way that I was perceiving, and I said in the previous video that I don't want Colorado Vegas to go to seven, because even though I'm not really superstitious, just seeing the stats from La Presse earlier this week that say that game four winners, when they play against game seven winners, they usually lose... Yeah, it's something that I don't want to tempt fate with. We saw the Canadians literally demonstrate that stat in their second round matchup as they defeated Toronto in seven, Winnipeg defeated Edmonton in four. So now that the Vegas Golden Knights are up three to two against Colorado, I think I'm kind of pulling for Vegas to do this one here. And it's not even a new opinion either. That's my own personal rationale behind it straight off the bat here. If I had to choose Colorado or Vegas, I would prefer to see Vegas. Just because the storylines are so interesting, obviously, you have storylines with Colorado as well. It's the brand new iteration of the Quebec Nordiques coming out here. Just the historical ties of these franchises going up against each other in the Final Four would be crazy. But come on, would you not want to see Max Pacioretty against Montreal? Imagine that first two-game series where Vegas is back in Montreal. You have Pacioretty doing his thing, the crowd at the Bell Center, man, going wild for what was their former captain. Imagine if he scores like an overtime winner or something. The building, the city, it would erupt, and you know, if things get even crazier, we might be able to see some even bigger storylines come to play. Okay, Nick Suzuki is out here. He was a former Vegas Golden Knight. Then you have the best goalie Quebec has seen in a while, a very, very long while, in Marc-Andre Fleury playing off against the best goalie who has played in Quebec this generation in Carey Price. That goaltending matchup would be crazy. Obviously, we know Philip Grubauer is also really good too, but honestly, when it comes to the matchups themselves, the storylines favor Vegas in my opinion, and it's been strong enough to the point that I can kind of consider myself wanting Vegas to succeed. Now, as a Vancouver Canucks fan, I can't believe I just said that, but there is a part of me that says that if Vegas wins, which I kind of want them to, I would love to see them get their hopes shattered by Montreal. But... That's obviously a little bit just nuanced there. That's not really super guaranteed or whatever. Either way, though, when it comes to the choice of Colorado or Vegas as well, another thing you have to pay attention to is the play style. Colorado plays a fast, speedy, offensively overwhelming game that relies on their star players. Vegas plays a similar style to Montreal, honestly. They all battle hard, they make their bread and butter by shutting down the opposition in their own zone and transitioning out the other way. They've got really good depth, they've got a really strong work ethic, and it's really similar to what we saw with Montreal in the series against Winnipeg and in games 5, 6, and 7 against Toronto. How does this sound for familiarity? The recent few games of Colorado Vegas have been all won by Vegas. Vegas tanked the bed in game one against Colorado, losing that one seven to one. But after that, Vegas turned it on. 
They lost Game 2 as well, but that's because Philip Grubauer stole the show. But in Games 3, 4, and 5, Vegas won all of them. Nathan McKinnon was held off the board. This guy, who has been so on fire the entire postseason in the sweep against St. Louis and in that crazy Game 1 against Vegas, he's been neutralized ever since. Does that not sound like any of the other two M's that are at the top of the NHL? Matthews, McDavid, maybe? Not really too sure. It's a similar kind of pattern that we have seen here with Vegas, and in fact, yesterday's Game 5 was such a display of that kind of brilliance, where they're down 2 nothing at the start of the third period. They get a few good bounces, they get a few turnovers going their way, boom, it's a tie game, and eventually Mark Stone off another turnover, R.I.P. Ryan Graves, by the way. He gets himself the overtime winner there, so this one is now a Vegas lead. The game yesterday was a 3-2 win after being down 2-0. The series itself is a 3-2 Vegas lead after being down 2-0. Talk about Colorado and the choke artists they are, man. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not serious about that. I'm just kind of joking. So, the way the mojo has been going down, Colorado has been effectively shut down at the top of the lineup by that super willing Vegas Golden Knights defensive system that they run. And as a result, you know, it really does paint a parallel picture to me just how Montreal was able to neutralize Matthews and Marner and all that. It's a similar kind of vibe because these two teams, Vegas and Montreal, they both play with heart. They both play games that rely on shutting down defensive transitions and reversing and creating offense off of those chances. It's not like Nathan McKinnon and the Avalanche where they can just overwhelm you and pound you and keep you in your zone and eventually score a goal that way. It's a little bit different, and as a result, I would love to see the matchup when you have two heart and soul effort-based teams going up against each other, especially with that storyline of the Pacioretty, the former captain, etc., and the Nick Suzuki's and the Thomas Tatars, if that guy ever suits up again in this playoff run. We'll see exactly how that goes down, by the way. But either or, you know, we still have another game of Vegas-Colorado to go. If Colorado does pull this off and they end up winning, I'd be really interested as well to see if that Vegas formula of shutting down Nathan McKinnon can translate into what Dominic Ducharme is putting out for his squad. They already did that against Matthews and Marner. Yeah, that's true, they did that, but Nathan McKinnon has been so up and away exceptional this entire postseason that, you know, I don't know if the Canadians are up for the challenge, but hey, if they have that opportunity, I would love to see them try. So Colorado, Vegas, talk to me in the comments what you think. I said Vegas initially because I don't want that superstition to reign true where Game 4 winners lose against Game 7 winners in the next round. But even disregarding that little superstition that really doesn't mean anything, it's just kind of a common trend, I still do kind of identify more with the Vegas thing. Plus, if Montreal is going to go all the way, I would love to see them take out Vegas, man. Ah, the Vancouver fan inside me would be just so pleased to see that happen. No disrespect to Vegas Golden Knights fans. You guys are great. I love your prospects. I like your team. Except, no, I don't. I really don't like your team because you guys eliminated us last year. So... Talk to me in the comments, who would you rather face, Vegas or Colorado? Are you pulling for either team? Or are you just completely on the fence neutral about it? Oh, I don't care, just give me whoever. The Habs will play them all. Because I think that's a very fair point of view to hold as well. If you made it to the end of this video, talk to me in the comments, tell me Max Pacioretty, just because he is the former captain of the Canadians, for a chance to be featured in the next Canadians video. Hope you enjoyed. This was Josh Rolls with I and I. And... Bye.